Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick. I'm still recovering, but I'm okay. In this video, I wanted to go through profitability, but I want to twist it up a bit and give you guys resources on finding out what your profitability is going to be. Okay, so I'm not going to like generalize here. I've, I normally do that in, you know, a lot of these videos that I've done over the past couple of years, you know, seeing how like, you know, an RX 580 rig is doing now, or maybe like a RTX 3070 rig more so the past year or two here. But now I would say we are, well, we have been going up in price, it seems like. And, you know, there's been since after the Ethereum merge that there have been a lot of different proof of work coins that have gone up much more than Ethereum since the merge. Okay, great example. I'm just showing here year to date, my proof of work watch list. You guys can access this if you want, link down below. But looking at, you know, year to date, okay, we can see that Conflux has gone up almost 1700%, right? It's running 52 now because uh, of that news, <laughs> telecom news. And then it looks like we got Alethium at 418% year to date, Caspa 200%. Nervos network, 150, that, that's not a GPU mineable coin. I'm specifically talking about GPUs in this video, but going down the list, right? We got Dynex here, 116% year to date. Uh, we got Zilliqa, another prominent coin that people mine, uh, you know, dual mining or triple coin mining. And of course we got the big dog, Bitcoin. We got Cortex, a GPU mineable coin. We got Swap, GPU mineable. And then we got Ethereum here, which is no longer GPU mineable, as you all know. But going down the list, right, there's still other prominent proof of work coins like Ravencoin, Fero, Ergo, right, Flux, still prominent coins that, you know, year to date, they've been going up generally. And this has been helping overall with a lot of miners that are out in the space right now, helping to distribute a lot of the hash rate with all the hardware that's either mostly off, I would have to say, because we all know with the emissions rating with uh, Ethereum was over, what, 20 to $25 million uh, every day. And with that cut out, that was a lot of hash rate, you know, turning off, whether it be, you know, half of it was ASICs, quarter or more were GPUs. And so I would say generally GPUs have kind of flocked over to Caspa, Conflex, right? Distributed amongst those other coins here and uh, Ergo and such. But it's not as big as what Ethereum was. But hey, I think a lot of miners, in, especially for the last year after the merge, have turned off, right? A lot, those that have been into mining and with the rise of electricity costs, it's kind of been hindering a lot of people. And I've been hearing it from everyone, right? Everyone's electricity costs have been going up. And so obviously that mentally affects those that you know care about profitability and their yields and how much they're earning and all that such with their gpus so how i'm gonna show you guys here just give you the resources into tuning your rigs and such to figure out the profitability i've been using a website more recently called hashrate.no this site i'm not sponsored by them or anything i'm just showing this site because they have a lot of useful information here to help you fine tune your rigs and also show rough, general, pretty good profitability numbers for mining a lot of prominent coins out there recently. And I'm gonna have to say break even point right now generally is around 16 to 17 cents kilowatt hour as a GPU miner. Okay, as of right now, as the state of the markets, as you all know, Bitcoin's been going up here uh, 28,000, I believe. Let's see, as of recording, yeah, 28,252. Okay, so this is pretty nice. It's pretty good that we're going back up a little bit, but you know, it's kind of bringing up some other coins as well. And, but anyways, going back to hash rate done, I know I really, really love this site, but the powerful thing that I've been, you know, learning from this site here is they have a lot of great overclock settings. So for example, my 3070 Ti rig, I was just playing around, I'm mining Caspa on it. And I was like, Hey, I wonder if I can get even better efficiency on this because you know, my electricity costs, it's around 11 cents USD where I am, where this rig is. And, you know, I thought to myself, if I can bring down the power consumption a bit more, but I am going to lose some hash rate. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll be happy to pay less electricity and be a little bit more profitable per se. So how I did that, right? Normally I was getting like, what, 3.2 
giga hash on this 6x3070 Ti rig, then I was tuning it down to about 2.887 giga hash on this rig. So you guys can see these 3070 Ti's are just efficient super efficient i think one of the most efficient gpus uh pretty close i think to the 40 series these cards 481 mega hash at 50 to 59 watts these are silicon lottery of course but 51 to 50 watts look at that that's crazy that's an efficiency of 9.4 mega hash per watt okay that's that's really good i think that's pretty close to like a 4080 4070 ti 4090 i believe as well so yeah, these 3070 Ti's are really good. I think better than the 3070s, but I think we did realize that and figure that out a couple months ago when we were testing out Radiant, Caspa, and all those other those other coins. But going back to hashrate.no, how it was able to help tune here, I clicked on this, the 3070 Ti under the GPU tab here, okay? Went there, then I scrolled down to Caspa. So once you click on it, actually, it shows you a few different overclock settings here that you could try to get efficient overclock numbers or medium overclock or high overclock numbers. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And I was using LOL minor. And like I said, I was getting a little bit higher. I was, get, I was getting like 520 mega hash, but at like 70 to 75 watts or something, not really tuned well. But when I went to hashrate.no here, I simply copied the minor options here, uh, the dash dash COFF, 300 dash dash c clock 1305 uh, mem clock 810 that's the typical one I actually, actually i already had but uh, dash dash pl 200 so i copied that they do have a copy button here and i pasted that into the flight sheet of my 3070 ti rig here restarted it restarted lol minor and lo and behold i was getting now getting these numbers knocked off about a good 20 to 25 watts off each 3070 Ti and, but I knocked off a good, what, 40, 60 mega hash off each of these uh, 3070 Ti's. But hey, this rig is now really efficient. And if I were to, let's say, go to what to mine and put in the exact, you know, numbers that I'm getting right now with this rig, 2,887 mega hash at about 400 watts roughly. So I'm just taking the, it says 324 in Hive OS, but this is on an open air rig. So I put another, what, 75 watts there for the motherboard and whatnot, just, you know, to be realistic here. So going back to what to mine, I did the electrical cost of 17 cents. I sort by current profit, current values. I highly recommend people do that just to see, you know, current, you know, numbers, of course. Hit calculate. And you can see here at 17 cents, this 3070 Ti rig is, is breaking even at, at, at about six cents, right? Six cents profit. But... If I were to do it at my 11 cent per kilowatt hour, look at that. It's now, I'm making 63 cents. Hey, that's that's not bad. It's not life-changing, but I think during these times of when things are low and, you know, running your rigs efficient, it's good to stay lean and mean, especially dependent on your financial situation, um, especially, you know, if you're paying a lot for your electric or not, or you're living paycheck to paycheck or whatever your financial situation is, whatever your goals are, running your rigs efficient as possible to accumulate, you know, some of these coins here or for profit. It's awesome. I think this is great. And uh, this hashrate.no website, I have to praise these guys. I really, really do love the information that they uh, have here. And yeah, I mean, this goes along with any other GPU here. So this is where I'm tying it for you guys to really, you know, look at your GPUs, look at what efficient numbers that you can achieve and see, you know, if you can do any better, right? They even have the 6600 XTs here. And, you know, they have Dynex here, Alethium, Caspa, Nexa, right? If we click on, let's just say Caspa, for instance, they have the overclock numbers here, but it looks like they don't have that command or memory one that I've been seeing some people talk about. I did do a video on the, you know, 6000 series cards where you can run a command to get half the power consumption. So my 6600 XTs were running at like 20 to 25 watts. So it says 42 here, 50 watts here. So I don't know if anyone's running that command to get even efficient, more efficient numbers on their 6600 uh, XTs or 6000 series uh, GPUs. So I, I have a video about that. Yeah, you guys may have saw that already, but yeah, I... I really love this website. It's really nice. I highly recommend a lot of you guys just to check out the site, check out the overclock numbers and check out the profitability. And you can see here the power cost. You can change this, you know, as it goes down. 
uh, roughly to see what your GPUs can achieve. But I do also like to put it in what to mine as well, just to have that, you know, second opinion, just to see generally, roughly how profitability is for your rig. So I know you guys are like Red Panda, 17 cents. Well, I actually did a live stream recently and uh, it was funny because I think generally the average cost per kilowatt hour, I believe is around 17 cents now average. It's no longer 10, 11 or anything like that. You know, as electricity prices have gone up, you know, in the States, I believe it's around 17 cents now. And I know, I know not everyone has 17 cents. Okay. Not everyone has 17 cents. I know a lot of people have 10 or six or seven but there's a lot of people out there that have 17 20 25 30 even more and so i have to like really you know cater to everyone that watches my channel i'm guessing most people who watch this video right now are those that have generally lower electrical costs and are still mining all right let's not kid ourselves i think anyone that has higher well actually i've talked with a lot of people who still watch my channel that have like 30 cents per kilowatt hour that, that are still mining they're mining at a loss because they truly believe of what is to come uh, in cryptocurrency. And you know what? I commend them. I, you know, it's a big risk. But if you have that conviction and understanding that, you know, the markets are generally going to go up again, then that's it. That's the end all be all here. Okay, my friends, let me know your thoughts of hashrate.no. Let me know if you guys have already been using it. I, I know this site's been out for a while. I don't think I've ever done like a dedicated video, just, you know, kind of generally showing it a little bit here, but it's a great website. Oh, they have ASICs and uh, FPGAs here as well. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out. Man, these 3070 TIs are super efficient.